Hello and welcome back. Uh, my name is Ajay Naik. I'm co-founder of UI5 Community Network. And in this course, we are going to see Python. Python is a very important language when you talk about web development, IoT, use case development, hardware related projects, or game development. And uh, to teach Python, we have uh, Kripa with us. And Kripa was part of CMC and Broadcom. And there he learned IoT and Python and become an expert on Python. So in this course, he is going to walk through us uh, what is Python and we are going to dig deep in the Python. We are going to learn all the parts of the Python. And this is the first course of a series of course, which is going to be shot on Python. And uh, we promise that uh, by end of all the courses, you will be also an expert in Python. So before moving ahead, I would like to welcome Kripa to this course. And uh, thank you for spending your time to teach our audience Python, one of the very popular language on web today. Mm, thank you. So Kripa, tell me what are the things which Python can perform? Before that, I will let you know uh, why we are using Python. So we have already uh, lots of languages. So why we are switching to Python? Yes, exactly. So in Python, lots of features are there. So here I will tell you a few of them. Okay. So one is like uh, developer productivity. Okay. So if you are writing code in Java or C, okay. so if it is in 50 lines, so you can create your code, same code in Python, like 10 lines or 12 lines. So it is a one third or one fifth part of them. Okay. So this is the difference. Okay. So if you are using three or four developer, yes. so same task only two developer can perform. Okay, so Python. much less code. It's much less code, code yeah. and readability is more. So okay, well, the, is it like the because it's a high level language, so the function are very yeah. easier to so, pronounce and all these things. Uh, yeah. So if you will see the code of Python, yeah. so it's very easy to read. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so here we are not using uh, much keywords and uh, like uh, m lots of uh, special characters are there, but we are not using them. We are using only English languages, some components, you can say. So instead of or, we are using in C some special characters, but here we are writing or, simply or. Okay, uh, we don't need to write if and else statement or if and else are... Yeah, if, if else is okay, no problem here, but uh, some special characters we are using that makes complex any programming language. So they remove that spatial character and they are using English words so that you can read it easily and okay. you can understand okay. it. So when you read it, even like for a programmer, when you, they are learning Python for first time, to get those words, it's very easy because basically what we have to go understand is we have to actually go through a lot of uh, codings or syntaxes terms to remember to learn a language. So basically if they are readable, then it's much easier to understand. Okay, yes. That's, what so, is actually that function means? Or exactly. So, uh, suppose uh, one developer uh, made that uh, your application and another developer came. So he can understand easily. So that is a thing in Python. Okay. So first of all, we have a uh, uh, very less line of code. So when they are having a uh, like, you know, size of a program so is in the pro Python compared to C or any other language, the Python will be much less. Yeah. And, uh, other advantages, uh, like it's much easier to write those code and read those code. Right. Uh, and uh, you were talking about program portability as well. So exactly. What, what so, the, does... so the program portability is, suppose you write your code in Windows or Mac OS. So you can run anywhere. Okay. So this feature in Java is there. If you are writing code in C, you should execute to object code, then exe file. Yes. And if you will take that exe file, and you have to move other system, so it will not work. Okay. You have to compile it to the same system. Okay, okay, or okay. same yeah. uh, like a machine platform. Okay, see. exactly. So, for example, if I compile my uh, program in my same window machine, exactly, and then I put it in my friend's win machine, which may be in a different window version or maybe Linux, then it will not work. Yeah, uh, if it is a C language, but Python, if I compile, then will the final program will work? So in Python. You no need to compile it, just you have to call the file or whatever code you write and it will start executing. Okay, okay. Now, but then are we transporting the final executable file or like the source code? 
Yeah. If you want to deliver your project, suppose you make one project in Python and you want to deliver it to client. Okay. So that time you think like uh, we are delivering to source code that. Okay. So we don't deliver the source we, code. No, no, no. So here is uh, like less compilation. Okay. So first it will compile to PyYC file. Okay. Okay. Then it will ex start executed by interpreter. Okay. So one JIT also is there concept. Just in time. Just time. Just in time compiler. Yeah. So what it will do? It will take the like a line of code or block of code. It will start executing it. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I have seen your presentation for the coming courses. You have taken that topic on a very detailed level. Uh, yeah. We'll not go in that deep because we were mostly discussing now what are the benefit. Exactly. So I think this benefit was that you do your Python code will be uh, able to run on any machine. I think the compiled code. The thing idea is when we have a compiled code or working code in your machine that particular code can actually be used in multiple machine. Uh, like uh, even if like it, it is independent of the configuration or, or what type of machine you are running it on. Right. So I think uh, uh, let's talk about the support libraries. Like is the library uh, like very huge or is it like very selective functions are provided in the Python? Yeah. So in Python, if I'm talking about support the libraries, so a lot of libraries are there, which makes Python easier to use. Like all industry are using Python. See, if I will talk about IT companies, semiconductor companies and uh, robotics also. So all are using Python. So we have lots of libraries. We can use them and we can make the application. So up to you. Okay, it's up to me like uh, where if I you want to use. Right. It has a very rich set of libraries. Rich set of libraries. Okay, so compared to C or Java, do you think that uh, like you have like an, a wild guess, you know, what which which library is more, more richer? No, 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 it's not like that. It is uh, like uh, one Python organization is there. So whatever uh, like... Uh, development they, of the code development of the Python. Yeah, so development of code of Python is like uh, you need... Suppose you made some library. Okay. So you need to submit to Python or so it's an open source. Like you can, I think I can also kind of yeah, you know, I yeah. learn Python. So maybe you can also after learning Python exactly. you can submit so to. You, you can create your library and you can submit to a Python organization okay. and they will uh, start analyzing that. If it is good enough, then they will uh, put it in put it into your in that uh, GitHub library. or something. Okay. Okay. They will give the link and uh, you can start executing it. Actually, the thing is, suppose you wants to use your web framework and you wants to make one app web application. So how you can make and uh, that time you will think a uh, lots of uh, uh, frameworks are there. Yes. So which one I should use? So basically, I think uh, there is a separate web development topic, which is there. But then yeah. just to give you an eye, uh, like, you know, ask this question. This is kind of you no. Know, when you have a existing application, which is built in J2EE exactly. or maybe .NET or something like you no know, similar technology, mm. like how much if I am using Python, how my Python program or system is compatible with that particular existing system. Because integration is like now the key, you know, we are dealing with yeah, APIs yeah. a lot. So exactly. how it will be. So, so if you made one application already you have and uh, you want to communicate that app module with Python, it's very easy. It's depend on you. Suppose your application is in C. So Python is also providing support of this integration and it's very easy you can call the functions you can call the classes if it is in java or dot net so it is uh, like uh, we can use the libraries and we can call it easily so it's very easy to use uh, python or integrate with other application also exactly i think it's very interesting because all the parameters which uh, a developer or an architect or analyst have before switching into a technology python actually has all of them checked and yeah. I think it's uh, like one of the most popular used language. Um, when we were doing IoT use case, I think it was much easier to do it with Python compared to Java. I'm not saying Java is uh, not that good, but Python is a lot easier to deal with and we were getting all the libraries. So this was a personal experience. So it will be much value added to learn Python. So in the next section, we are going to see who are the big names and where they are using Python. Yeah. So thank you for watching this video.